so from Steve Walters, a lot of Steves today. I see a lot of things available in the various varieties of Buchanan tartan. Is that because there's a lot of people in Clan Buchanan, or is it just popular because of aesthetics? Do people just like the pretty colors? <clears throat> Clan Buchanan has a, it, it, it's a very uh, unique tartan for a few things. Um, one, it, there's a very wide yellow section, very wide red section, and then a green section. And it's kind of equidistant. It's a reasonably well-balanced tartan. Um, it is one of those that there are people in the modern version where it's bold yellow, bold red, dark green. People either love it or hate it. Um, and there are a lot of Buchanans out there, and it's a great clan. And, you know, Kenny Buchanan, great guy, is the, you know, the guy who runs around the festivals and does all that kind of stuff for Clan Buchanan. Um, the, the modern Buchanan is only one variation of it. There's also ancient, there's also muted, there's also weathered. There's Buchanan old, which is a, a different variation of the, a different set of the Buchanan tartan. Um, there's Buchanan hunting. There's tweed versions of Buchanan. So there's, it's, it is a, a uniquely, I, I will use the word pretty tartan. It's, it's a nice looking tartan, especially in the ancient color palette. It's, it's a very pastel kind of well-balanced design in the weathered color palette. It is, it's, it's, that's one of my favorite tartans. It's, it's just the, a nice pale yellow, a nice salmon -y kind of red, and that, that brown kind of brown and gray colors in there. It's, they're, they're three, three very unique, different designs, and they work in, you know, kilt wool. They also work in tweed, like Martin Mills does a, a version of a Buchanan tartan in tweed. Um, we have purses from Muckross that have, you know, Buchanan tartan in tweed. There's capes and things. It's just a very nice, pretty design. I'd say it, um, without trying to sound weird about it, it lends itself towards female stuff as well because of how bright and bold and nice and balanced the colors are. So it, it blends itself towards purses and women's things, but it also makes a great kilt. So I would say aesthetically, you know, taking Buchanan Modern out of it because some people love it, some people hate it. Even just the the ancient and the weathered, you know, it's it's popular because it's a, it's an objectively good design. And on top of that, add in that, yes, there are a lot of people named Buchanan. So it's kind of, you know, chicken and egg thing, which one it feed into each other. Thoughts? It's definitely both. There are a lot of people who are either Buchanans or of descent of, of the Buchanans. Um, I would say, too, I think there's something else that contributes to this. Where a lot of the a lot of clans of similar size have a tartan that looks a lot like Black Watch, that bottle green, navy blue, black. Maybe theirs has a red stripe, or this clan that's just as big has a white stripe. So they all do kind of look not the same, but similar, very close. Same vein. Yeah. So from a fashion standpoint, the Buchanan is more recognizable. You know, how many people at a glance are going to recognize the difference between Robertson hunting modern and Mackenzie hunting modern, or Lamont and Forbes? Yeah, yeah. So the Buchanan is distinctive. You're more likely to notice it. So there's a bit of a sampling error potentially here as well. Though it is a popular tartan for sure. But also I think people are drawn to it. Um, like you said, there's strong feelings. So people are really like, oh my goodness, the stop stoplight look of that that tartan is not yeah. for me. But some people are really drawn to it. Especially, um, I don't like the modern very much myself. But the muted that's available in PV is, is really nice. I owned that one in a, in a, in a semi-traditional kilt for a long time. Um, yeah, so I think I think there's sampling error, there's the size of the clan, plus it does have great fashion uses that distinguish it from Black Watch and Scottish National and some of the other variants that all do look very similar. It's probably the biggest one that is distinct from those. And it is also used in one of the comedy mm -hmm. classics, best movies of all time, Spaceballs. They've gone to plaid. And in the background... That is the Buchanan Tartan. It's Buchanan Modern that kind of washes over them in that scene. They've gone to plaid! We're going to have to add that discussion of that scene to the USA Kilts, Kilts, and Culture drinking game, where when Rocky finally brings up on the show, you take a drink. Because it has, I think it's like the third show in a row you've brought up that scene. It's second, yes. <laughs> second? Okay. Indeed. <laughs> All right, Mr. Mack. I will say Buchanan does wonderful as, uh, as books as well. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. No, I, they can't see it from where. Uh, 
There. Uh, <laughs> over there. Maybe right there. <laughs> Further down, though. Can't see it. So, if you really want to get a look at a really wild version of Buchanan, you got to take a look at the Buchanan inauguration. Brand new tartan designed to commemorate, I think, the the new, new incoming clan new clan yeah. chief that's being inaugurated this coming October. It's, it's recognizable as Buchanan, but <laughs> it's bold. <laughs> yeah, and there's also, like, Buchanan blue. Um, La mm-hmm. Karen's done, mm-hmm. um, which is a, a fashion-y kind of version of, of Buchanan. Yeah, it, there's some there's some cool stuff you can do with it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi there. Just reading through my Buchanan novel here. Let me know what you think of the comments. Is Buchanan a beautiful tartan? Or, especially the modern version, is it, whoa, maybe a bit too much? Let us know in the comments. If you want to see other videos we've done, check out this playlist over here.